themselves for renovation For spiffing up and grooming Cause customers are flocking And business has been booming We need refrigeration in our new improved display So we're closed for renovation today Yes, this is the shop we're going to on Channel 5 News Yes, the RG is on display exclusively here for decoration, cause fortune has been smiling, so now we're due for painting, new plumbing and retiling, we'll make a ship shape showplace of a little shop and then, tomorrow we'll be open again. Aren't you finished yet? No, I'm sorry Mr. Mushnick, but all these band pages are making it kinda hard. I'm getting hurt so much lately. I know, I just pick up a pair of pruning shears and I just slip. Spitting down and brooding, this business has been thriving since Audrey Two's been blooming. The phones have not stopped ringing with the customers who say another bunch of PMEs, another dozen daisies, please. Geraniums and anemones, forget me not to Florida leaves. There's got these home deliveries, I'll pay the calls and see how we. Seymour, did you send out that order for Mrs. Shiva? Uh, Mrs. Shiva? Mrs. Shiva! Oh, uh, no, I, uh, I must have forgot. You forgot? How could you forget an order like that? The Shivas are our most important funeral account. A big, enormous family, and they're dropping off like flies. I'm telling you, Crowborn, if we lose their business over this, you're finished! Sometimes I think Mr. Mushnick's a little too hard on you. Oh, well, uh, I don't mind. Besides, I owe him everything. He was the guy who took me out of the Skid Row home for boys when I was just a little tyke. Gave me a warm place to sleep, under the counter. Uh, good food to eat, like meatloaf and water. And, uh, and floors to sweep and, and toilets to clean and, and every other Sunday off. You know, I think you ought to raise your expectations, Seymour. Now that we're getting successful, I mean. Why don't you start with some new clothes? Oh. No offense, but what with all the interviews and photo sessions, a big, important, experimental botanist has to look the part. Oh, I, I don't know, Audrey. I'm not a very good shopper. I, I don't have a good taste in fashion, like you. Well, I could help you pick things out. You could? Sure. You, you'd go shopping with me? Sure. You, you'd be seen with me in a public place, like a department store? Sure. Tonight? Oh, I can't tonight. I've got a date. But I'd love to go with you another time. Uh, sure, I'll pencil. Win. I'll bet you've got a lot of dates now, huh? Well, not dates, exactly. Uh, but a lot of garden clubs have been asking for me, asking me to give lectures. Gee. <laughs> Imagine me giving lectures. I never even finished grade school. That doesn't matter. You have life experience. Well, some experience. Uh, I don't know what it's like to, to fly in an airplane. Me neither. Or, or eat a fancy dinner at Howard Johnson's. Me neither. Or, or ride a motorcycle. Oh. It's no big deal. Besides, it's dangerous. It is? Extremely dangerous. Gee, better go fix my face. My dad will be here any minute. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Which way to 1313 Skid Row? I'm afraid that information will cost you a dollar. Hey, no problem. Here you go. It's right over there. But if you're like the thousands of others flocking down to see the Audrey too, you better come back tomorrow, man. This shop is closed today. Ooh, got his dollar. I'm not here to buy posies, girls. I'm here to pick up my date. Your date? You wouldn't by any chance be talking about a girl with a black eye? And several other medical problems? Well, as a matter of fact. Oh, oh no! Ladies, no, ladies, please, I'm friendly. You want some nitrous oxide? Why don't you get lots of Italis brains? Last thing Audrey needs is more of your kind. My kind is a very nice kind, ladies. I'm not a monster. What else would you call it? I would call it an occupational hazard. Say what? You see, my line of work requires a certain fascination with human pain and suffering. Woo! This stuff is great. Allow me to explain. When I was younger, just a bad little kid, my mama noticed funny things I did. Like shooting puppies with a baby gun. I poisoned couples, and when I was done, 
I find a pussycat and bash it. That's what my mama said. What did she say? She said, my boy, I think someday you'll find a way to take your natural tendencies. Hey, you'll be a dentist. They tell me, uh, but I'm sorry, sir. Really, I'm not supposed to be in here. I'm gonna. Hey, Seymour, this is my boyfriend, Seymour or Scavello. DDS. Oh, tell you something, guy. You raised this thing, right? All right. Well, if I you, I sure as hell wouldn't keep it down under a barrier there, and I don't like this on Skid Row. This avocado here could be your ticket to the stars. Take any floor shop in town and name your price. Hell, so I make you a goddamn part. Get their heads on this. Well, I don't care. I'm happy here. Seymour is very loyal. Somebody talking to you? Oh, no. Excuse me. Excuse me what? Excuse me, doctor. It's better. <laughs> Tell me, kid. Get your ass ass don't Take the plan with you. What? What's this skip off floors? That's a joke. You hear me talking? I hear you. Should we be leaving now? I'm sorry. Sorry what? I'm sorry, doctor. Gotta train him, you stud. Right. <laughs> well, my bike's outside and doll park, but think about it, I said, Scout. I made it. You think about it? I'll think about it. Yeah, you do that. Okay, Audrey. Got the handcuffs? They're right in my bag. Then let's go. And you should see the way he treats Audrey. God damn him will know that kid just said he'd mull it over. No wonder she's looking so unhealthy. It's enough to make you sick. If he left me, if Seymour left me, why then I'd be right back where I started, which was broke and starving. No wonder she's looking so unhealthy. She deserves a prince, not a sadistic creep like him. Close to bankrupt. What a louse. Be set, be fuddled, and be wrapped. That's what I'd be if Seymour left. You know, he's a disgrace to the dental profession. Seymour! Sir? Seymour. How would 
would you like to be my son? How would you like to be my own adopted boy? I never liked him much before, but count the cash that's in the drawer. I've got no choice, I must do more. Say yes! What for? Say more, I want to be your child. I want to see you climbing up my family tree. I used to think you left a stench, but now I see that you're a man, so I propose and be my son. Feed me. Does it have to be mine? Feed me. 
Where am I supposed to get it? Go get it. 